Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I wanted to share my hashtag Use Your Digi Sunday, Sunday project with you. Um, I've created a new Angie's Angel, and I just absolutely love this girl. She's so pretty. She has um, nice long hair, and she seems a little bit shy, and she has one side of her hair is covering one eye. And I, in this piece, I'm going to explain a lot to this piece, but I did watercolor her. And originally, let me show you what, I'll show you the original, oh, I don't have the original stamp. Anyway, this is originally how I colored her. So uh, I printed, well, I first I drew her, of course, you guys, and then I inked her out. And then I put her into my computer so I can, of course, like I always like to do, print her out any size I need. So I printed her out, eight and a half by 11. I like to work that way. And I did watercolor this. This whole thing is watercolor. Except for the white highlights in your hair, that is a Prismacolor white pencil. But everything else, you guys, I'm so excited, is watercolor. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how I watercolored her and also how I got this mixed media background. So that it, so if you guys are interested in there'll be a lot of really cool tr uh, tips and tricks and things you can combine into your own artwork. Um, so that'll be on, that'll be later on this month, throughout the month I'll do that. I'm probably going to do it in two parts because my last video was two hours and I kind of feel like maybe I should have a part one and then have a part two so people know, hey, I can watch part one for an hour and watch part two another time. So I think that's what I'll do. Okay, I actually named this piece that I did though and it's called I Matter. And what it made me to start to discover is, is why I collect the things I collect. I collect encyclopedias from thrift stores, you guys. I collect encyclopedias. I collect old books. I collect old um, music note paper. I collect pieces of, and I save everything, like pieces of cardboard like this. This corrugated cardboard, that's just a scrap. I save all my, my um, from my paper pads, I save all the scraps. And what I've discovered is, and all my scrap napkins too, I save all that. So what I've discovered is, I call this play, this piece, I Matter. And I've discovered that I collect all these things because they're all a bunch of things that people have said don't matter anymore. So I think I'm mending myself because throughout my life, um, those people are out of my life now who made me feel like I didn't matter. Everyone in my life, like my husband, my friends, all make me feel like I do matter. So I have removed those people out of my life, but you know, it's, you have to heal from that. And so I guess this piece is helping me heal from that. And I want to take, and I guess what I do is I buy all these things that people have thrown away and they don't matter. And I want to make them matter. So I take the scraps of an, I take the papers from an encyclopedia, rip them up and I take, um, old books and old music sheets and all the scraps in my room. And collage them all together on this background because together they all matter now just how I want to matter you know in this world so I wanted to explain that and that's what I did to get this entire background okay so first it's all the papers I layer the next layer is the napkins and a lot of times I can't throw anything away so oh, and this is a cor corrugated piece of cardboard that I had laying around my um, my craft room in the corner here, which I think turned out really cool. The next thing I do is I use napkins. And a lot of times it's, you know, I have napkins, because I use napkins in my work all the time. I have pieces of napkin all the time. So of course I don't throw any way in my napkin scraps. So these are all sc napkin scraps I had in my stash. And I put those down below here so that her hair flows into this beautiful garden. Um, I used a beautiful napkin here and I used a beautiful napkin there. And I like this little napkin is, um, it's just a piece of it. It's just peeking out from here, which I just love. And this is a napkin here, this little purple bird, just peeking out over her head. Okay, so after I did that, then I took stencils. I don't remember which stencils I used. Um, and I used white and I used all the color. I use, when I do stencil work, I use paint, acrylic paint usually. And I use the colors that are already in that already in the already in this art the artwork I'm working on and the reason I do that is so that it it's in the background I mean if I was to throw yellow like big bright yellow and orange now that's going to be forward I want it to still be in the background I want her to be the main focus so 
I used purple in here with a stencil and some white with a stencil. And I just do it to get texture and effect. The other thing I did use in here too, before I put the napkins on it, I do have layers of tissue paper that I have stamped. Um, and pattern paper also, because I also, also want, I do also want to get some texture going too underneath that. So then it's a layer of napkins, then it's a layer of stenciling, and then I took my script stamp, which is this one, which is my favorite stamp in the world. I have two of them and in black ink and I script stamped over the whole thing. because I love like little peaks of little bits of uh, script coming out. Um, also, this is a stencil up here that I have. I have no idea what it says, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> I hope it said, I hope it means I matter. But anyway, I just like the way it looked. Um, so I just want to share this piece with you. I wanted to share the reasons I, the reasons I've been collecting the things I'm collecting. And I think that I'm going to discover more about myself as I keep doing art because it's going to keep coming out and teach myself more about like why I do the things I do and who I am. I know this sounds really bizarre, you guys, but the more you do, I think artwork, art journaling, do paintings, I think things come out. And um, this piece is going to be, I put this piece on a big, huge piece of canvas. And then I did a mixed media background around her, but I did like objects that actually come out. Air, um, I did some angels and crosses and birds and a deer. Anyway, and that's all collaged around her. You guys know I love to collage. This is a collage too, but these are three, I guess you could say 3D elements that actually come out. So that's another piece I made from her and it's still called um, I Matter. And I will be sharing that within the next few days. I'm just finishing it up. But that's it, you guys. I just wanted to share my piece for hashtag Use Your Duty Sunday. Didn't mean to get a little deep with you guys because usually I'm, you know, and, and this is the thing. This is, I don't think this is depressing because this is some self-discovery and something happy and I think beautiful came out of it. So, and something that helped me. So it's not a sad thing. I think it's a really beautiful thing that happened. So, okay, you guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, oh, I didn't even mention, <laughs> I got so much into my story. Me and Shonda from Slum Cards are the ones that are, um, we are partners on this hashtag use your digi sunday so we're both um collaborating together we'd love for you guys to join all of the guidelines will be below so you can jump in and jump out there is a giveaway at the end of the month um and it's really really fun and it really gets you to use your digital whatever it is your digital stamps your digital images your digital comic book pages your digital scrapbook paper you guys someone did that and i thought that's cool so that's what the whole hashtag use your digi sunday is about if you happen to go ahead and choose one of my digital images um like one of these and i have many others um then you get two extra points you can go to my etsy shop it's www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com i you know i actually have some right here these are some more these are already all colored up and i did them in a mixed media background but those are some of the digital images that i have just to let you guys see real quick she's so cute Here's another one. This is my take and my tribute to Jasmine from Disney and my little bubbles. So that's just an example of some of the digital images and digital stamps I have in my Etsy shop. You can go to my Etsy shop. It's www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com. Like I said, if you do decide want to use to use one of my digital images, which I call Angie's, Angie's Angels, you do get two extra entries for the giveaway per project. Um, so like I said, you guys can jump in, jump out as many times you want through the month or throughout the year. Um, at the end of the month though, at, at the end of the month, we do do a giveaway. We do, do, we do a drawing and then we have a giveaway. And this last month was $20 cash and some digital images from me, digital stamps from my Etsy shop. And this next month, I have a video below if you can check it out and you can see all the gifts. It's a big bunch of goodies that I threw in. Shonda, my collab, uh, Shonda, who I'm collaborating with from Slum Cars, she threw in a bunch of great stuff. And then Christy Nitro, she wanted to just, she's so sweet, she just wanted to give some things to contribute to the giveaway. So um, check that out below. And I think I, I think I've gotten everything in, you guys, I believe. And like I said, the guidelines to hashtag Usual Digi Sundays will be below. Okay, you guys.
I think that is it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.